So let's quickly learn how we can make this effect which is rotating and also we can stop it after hovering on it. I don't know how to make everything stop at once because I'm not a CSS guru but I'll just show you guys how we can make it. So basically create a container, add a, another container where all the rotating elements should be and I'm going to make it defined size. So like 7, I'll make it 700 by 700. Make sure it is full width and not boxed. For this one, I'll just make it align in middle. You could do anywhere. Uh, then you add your image. I'll just copy the one at the top. And basically, all you need to do is whichever image you add, you just need to make the position to absolute. This would be like zero, zero. Just make it empty. And then make the container in this one to like be in the center. So you see everything's in center. It's in middle. And as we have set it to absolute, if I just add any other element, it would not get, it would only, it would be on like top of each other. So basically I'll just add the second element, which I want it to be like the rotating. You could add any other thing. I added image. I'll make the Z index too, so that it is above that image. Uh, I'll just make it, I guess 50 by 50. Looks good to me. And then what we need to do is we need to use custom CSS. Now you could use Elementor Pro or Royal Add-ons for Elementor, which adds this custom CSS panel, or you could use the additional CSS, which comes with your theme. And this is the thing that we are going to copy. And don't worry about this yet. I'll explain what these are. But let me just copy and I'm going to paste. You could see it doesn't work. And I'll show you why. But before that, I'll let me explain what we are doing. So basically, we are saying that for this element, which is PS2, we are and we have an animation called DM2. It should run for 15 seconds. It should run for a linear, which means it shouldn't speed. It shouldn't slow down. It should be constant speed. And it should run for infinite amount of time. And right now we have set it to do animation called DM2, but we don't know what DM2 animation is. So here we add the add WebKit keyframes and we call it DM2. And 0% which is the starting position and 100% which is the end position. We basically say that it should start at this location and it should end at this location. This option rotate 0 and rotate 0, rotate 360 and rotate minus 360 basically make it go around it. But we want the translate to be changing too. And the thing is translates first. Oh, sorry, the first locations translate, which is 250 minus 250, should be same as the end position. Because we want the first position and the end position to be same, so it keeps on rotating at that locations like this. Understand? I don't know why I said I understand. But yeah, let me just copy it. And uh, okay, we already copied and pasted it. So I'll let me just do it. And you could see it doesn't move. Why? Because we have to actually say that this is PS2. So. Let's go to class and call it PS2 and suddenly it starts rotating. Wow. How the hell? With the code basically. So now you're going to be like, well, I don't know what to, what the code, what the pixels or the location for this one are for my image. And here, even though I've used an image, you could basically use a PNG of a circle. Even though I've made it like a bit complicated by adding paddings and like this border and making it like circle but let's ignore that let me just copy it and you could see one issue that as soon as i copy it it just doesn't work you know why let me show you right now if i duplicate it it just create it just moves it because it is creating a location or a space that we don't want it to and we don't want it to like move the other elements so what we need to do is even though we did this we just need to make sure it is in absolute and then you could see it goes to the top left of this container we don't want it to do it so basically just make it empty and it would be in the center we are basically adding a position absolute with top zero bottom zero left zero and right zero when we make this go empty that's the css code by the way top zero bottom zero and what we need to do is basically call it ps2 again like this and then if I just duplicate it, you could see it's not changing the location. It is not affecting it. But before that, uh, let me just copy it again. I'll just make it like this. So now it's in center. But the issue is 
we don't know what this location is now there's two ways to do it if you know the radius of this circle you could basically go in chat gpt so this is what i did in chat gpt i just said that i have a circle of radius 300 pixel give me six equal points because i wanted to make it like this so six equal points and then yeah, it would give you like six equal points this would be translate x and this would be the translate y value and remember when i said that uh it should be same so it would be like minus 300 0 minus 300 0 for the first point so let me just do that for or before that let me just show you another way that you could find it let's say you don't want it to be equal locations but you want it to be a, at a specific location the way you could do is you could just choose or create a duplicate and then add a offset and then make it like just check around here which one it is and let's say if you want it to be start here so now you get the translate x and translate y pixels from here and remember that uh everything on the left side is negative right side is positive and for y everything above is negative and below is positive so let me just quickly do this is i'll add another animation for this one or basically i'll just change this code i'll call it dm3 because we want it to follow another animation and i'll make dm3 animation i'll also call this ps3 let's call this ps3 you could call it anything by the way css class ps3 and you could see it is moving but we already know that it should be like minus 300 pixels and the y should be zero and here you could see that it is actually rotating but it's not rotating perfectly because the starting position is perfect but the end position is not so make sure it is same And now it will do the perfectly from the same location to the last location. And you could change the speed here. Like I can make it for three seconds. And another way I'd like to do it is finding a location. I just make the seconds a lot so that it goes to the starting position. And then I just fiddle around this uh, numbers. So minus 250. And let's say I do like 150. Uh, 200. Let me change it to like 220 and here I did minus 220 by 200. So basically I also need to make sure that the translate this one is minus 220 to two minus 200 and then just make the animation go with the normal speed and you could see it starts from this location by the way this animation. Now the issue is we want it to be responsive we don't want it to be like this slow not this slow by the way it should work on all sizes right and right now it is it is working because the image is like pretty small for the tablet section too because it is just 500 by 500 for me but let's say if it wasn't so what would you do is you would add this code which is for the tablet which is uh, media media queries so for max width till 1024 if you hover it you could see that the, it is for up to 1024 it should run this code and basically this should also have the same name so dot ps3 as we are doing it for this one and the animation name would be different we cannot have this animation name because we don't want it to follow the older values so i'll just call it dm2 tablet for the keyframes it uh, for the animation data we will also call it dm2 let me just copy this one to this section and then let me just paste it now obviously it's not working perfectly because the values i've given here are different so and also fix the code when i'm giving the link in the description it is going for 15 seconds and then we can make it go like minus 200 uh 250 minus 300 okay let me make the size to be like this one then let's change the translate x and y we don't want it to be this further well we basically know that it is like 300 to 0 <laughs> like this but you could also make it start from the right side too if you wish to by just making it positive and then making the translate x like this one 
and now uh let me just change this one now it would start from this location and go right for the tablet because we have set it to like different values but now let's do the one which is like very much important the mobile one because most of the traffic would come from mobile so let me just okay wait not width uh maybe 350 okay that works if you're getting some issues you could actually make this this one have overflow to hidden so everything outside this element would just not be shown and that would fix like lots of problem where it just goes like left and right there's like spacing on left and right in mobile but before that let's just change the code here which is basically same thing just for max width till 767 basically anything from 0 to 767 width should be doing this animation and then from 767 to 1024 should do this animation and anything above this should do this animation that's the media queries basic explanation so let me copy this one paste it we have called it ps3 i'll fix this code when i have written in this thing and here let me make it like minus 100 maybe minus 100 and now it's going this size and what you could do is also change the width of it if you wish to maybe like 25 so that it is like matching the size of this one and basically we are giving three different translate values to mobile tablet and desktop because the size of the image changes based on the screen size too which is why it's good to know what the size of the or the radius is going to be and lots of time you could just eyeball it there's nothing wrong with it if it works it works I'll make this double dot. I don't know what it's called. And on hover, it says that animation play state should be paused. Let's copy it and paste it. Which is this one, I believe. PS3. Yep. And when I hover on it, it would just pause. You see? And here you could add any other element or widget you wish to. It doesn't have to be images. If you have something that on hover opens some box that you also can add. I don't know how you would make it responsive for mobile. That's your work. But that's simple. Just simple code. Add it three times with three different name animations and translate values. And one of the quickest way I do it is I basically copy this code. So something like this. Or maybe like this. I go to chat GPT. And then I paste it. And I write. I just type write this code for anime of uh, write this code by replacing ps3 to let's say ai1 and make the translate values to desktop 200 uh, tablet if i can spell 100 uh let's do 100 100 why not and for mobile we do like 120 120 this is these are not right values you could basically just you know copy paste these points and just be like okay write me this code for this values write me this code for these values so that you that's how i actually did i didn't actually find every single code i just wrote this by saying that replace this code in chat gpt and then you actually get everything working so if i just you know paste it another one so let me just duplicate this one call this one ps4 and just paste it and now you could see it is working on this location for mobile or uh, for the tablet i believe it's this one and for for mobile and tablet it is just not working for some reason let me just check the code well, because we are not going to call it PS1, we have to call it AI1. My bad, it was not even running for the desktop. I don't know what I saw. So this one, uh, which is this? Okay, this one, AI1. Here it is, AI1. And here it is, AI1. Pretty easy, just use chat GPT, just give it translate and just give it a new name value. 